and he did the sweetest thing for you because I know you love animals like I, I love do. animals. I do. And your favorite animal is? The sloth. Tell me why <laughs> it is yeah. the sloth. It, it certainly is. Well, because they're, they're just so, they're just, because they're perfect. Because they're, it's like combining a, a monkey and a pig with the brain of an earthworm and the reflexes of your grandmother. Uh huh. And they're, they're just, they sort of just like, yes. hook onto something and hang upside down. I just love their faces so much. You've always loved them? I've always loved them. And I, you, you can YouTube videos. Oh, there's a lot of oh, them, yeah. They see them getting a bath, see them hanging out in the wild. They're uh -huh. so cute. And so Dax did something really sweet. He certainly did. Well, one of the many sweet things he's done. So I turned uh, 31 this past summer, and he said, um, I'm going to get you a present that no one else will ever get in their lifetime. And I was confused and thought, OK. So the day of my birthday, we're sitting in the living room, and I hear a knock at the door. And he says, your present's here. Why don't you go grab the dogs and go in the back room? And I had no context for knowing what it was. But I grabbed the dogs, walk into the back room of the house, and I immediately was overcome, and I thought, there's a sloth near. There's a sloth here. It's close. It's going to happen. And I didn't know how to process that, because my entire life had been waiting for this moment where I would get to interact. I'm serious with the sloth. Uh -huh. And I. First thing you should know about me, if I'm not between a three and a seven on the emotional scale, I'm crying. You're crying if it's too sad, I'm crying if I'm too, too happy. Always. So between three and seven is you're fine. It's a good zone. Okay. And right now I'm at like a six, nine, seven, so we're lucky that I'm not crying right now. Because okay, I'm excited to be here. Good. So I am sitting on my bed, knowing that a sloth is here. Where are you now on the scale? <sighs> Eleven. Wow. I start to have a full-fledged panic attack. I don't, I don't know how to compete with all this emotion, so I just kind of crawl up on the bed, and I'm crying so hard. And Dax knocks on the door, and he has a video camera, and he's like, surprise, I want you to come out to the, are you all right? And, and sees me basically fetal on the bed, and I um. I think you brought a little I footage did. of that. It's I, embarrassing. I cannot it's, wait to see it's it. It's worth watching. Yes. It's embarrassing, so we can take a look. Oh, there's a little sloth. There one is. All right, let's watch the, uh, oh no. I wasn't joking. I was absolutely. of like it's essentially a jungle gym and he or she just hung out on the jungle gym for like three hours. There she is, her name was Melon. I mean, I needed to be sedated clearly during that video. But the thing about sloths that kills me is they're, they're it's just like the, it's the, they're not cuddly. Yeah. It's such a you, trick uh, because you want to snuggle Except with for them. the one that I got for you today. Let's bring out, it, the cutest sloth. Oh, you no, I just wanted oh to see. That's fair enough. Oh, okay. wow. We'll take a break. <laughs> we'll be back. No sloth is going to be here. We'll be back. Not only is she adorable and talented and, and everything about Kristen Bell is just, I just love her Perfect. so much. The two of you together are a cute couple because you're both 
kind people. She's been on the show many times. This is yes. your first time. But Kristen Bell's the video of, of you surprising her with a sloth. Yes. That, and then us. Then that started a sloth industry. It I really believe. did. Yeah. That yeah. people are now aware of sloths that never were yeah. aware. <laughs> You, she was so excited that you were going to bring her a sloth. Yeah, she really got pumped up. Yeah. Um, you know, luckily I had seen that level of crying six or seven times, so I didn't think I needed to call help or anything. <laughs> but um, you know what people don't know about this video is at that time, it was nearly impossible to procure a sloth. They're not on every corner like they are today. No. There were like two guys in the country that had access to a sloth, and um, they're very particular about what kind of homeowner's insurance you have <laughs> in case they attack somebody oh. <laughs> who I guess would have to be in a coma to not be able to <laughs> avoid getting a attacked sloth. by a sloth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that sloth, um, it turned out, so we go out in the living room, and they've set up her little uh, habitat, right? Mm -hmm. She's crawling around on a broomstick, mm -hmm. very elaborate That's habitat. Her habitat. Yeah, <laughs> it's a broomstick. Um, I go, this is a good looking sloth. And the, and, the, and the wrangler said, yeah, she was in Outbreak and she was in a film with Robert Redford. And I said, honey, this gal's had twice the career that we have. <laughs> Kind of outshined us at the birthday party, like having Megan Fox as a bridesmaid or something. Uh, it wasn't a good idea. <laughs> you just, you know.